no stranger It's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe and usually I don't do this often But since we Child, I don't know if I want to wear this up or down. I just did my little edges, so I think I'm cute now. I don't know. I'll be liking the bun look, and then I'll be like, no, I want to wear it down. And then I put it up, and I'll be like, no, I don't like the bun. And I take it down, and I'll be like, you know what? My hair is sticking out a little bit on one of these braids. And until I feel like braiding it back down, I'm going to put it up in the bun. Welcome back to my channel. It's Danny, and I'm back with another video. So, I done got real comfortable. I'm doing a video today on how to become emotionally mature or more emotionally mature or more emotionally evolved. The way my emotions run on a daily basis, I need this lesson myself, okay? So this is for me and for anybody else who needs this information or, you know, is um, looking for ways to mature emotionally because... I know how it is. It's like I can snap into that emotion. I can snap right back and you would never know anything was ever wrong with me. I just, I just, I go into different moods. Like, I'm not crazy though. Okay, so I'm back. I put it down because, I don't know, I just like this look better. I like it with the little string thing I got in my hair because I have no idea what it's called, hair accessory. So this video is going to be how to become emotionally stronger, how to evolve emotionally. Um, like I said, this is also tips that I have been working on um, myself because, you know, I can get caught up in my emotions sometimes. It's okay. Like, it's okay to be emotional. It's okay to have feelings. It's okay to express your feelings as long as you don't let yourself just sit in it and, you know, like, really allow yourself to overstay your welcome in it because it's just you don't want it to take over. It's been so many times where something has happened, you know, that has like really hurt me or, you know, put me in the place of where it's all really being emotional and has like really taken over me in ways to where though it wasn't healthy, you know, I was doing certain things that just wasn't healthy for myself or anybody around me. I think this will be a good video, especially after the last one that I posted. I think these tips are very important, especially to someone who may not know really how to handle their emotions, you know, especially when they're so strong and just like, I was just having, I don't know, like, you know, like I've been diving more into doing more with my spirituality and really actually taking the time to meditate more way more often than I have been like more than once twice a day three times a day I'm doing like on my breaks at work like I'm really you know trying to pick up the pace with me doing that and you know just to help myself stay in a more positive light and a more um grounding light and energy to where though you know I, I want to be in this consistent energy of wanting to do better wanting to put more stuff out wanting to do more wanting to dig more into my dreams and you know the things that i want to manifest into reality for myself so yeah so um i'm just going to name it just like the other video i did um i think it was working on your confidence or how to become more confident i'm just going to name a whole bunch of reasons that i put on this paper that i thought would be um you know good things to talk about and good reasons to give and give my own little reason for why i believe that is very helpful to so also work on yourself and be and being more emotionally stable and more emotionally mature it's a good feeling to have and to know that you know That you know how to maneuver and get through those emotions don't ignore them of course not work through it because ignoring it is just like putting it on the back burner and why would you want to do that because it could just make for more room for it to come up again and trigger you or you know whatever the case may be or you just have a thought about it or do whatever it is and it just puts you in this really bad like place with yourself and it's not a good feeling like it's really not so I hope that this can help somebody because it has been helping me um and i think that it's also healthy for yourself because it allows you to step more into yourself 
to know that okay I'm emotional but okay I know this is a trigger I know how to handle this now or okay this is how I would have handled it before let me do it a little bit different this way you're more aware of how to allow that emotion to process and sometimes you might need to cry right then and there but me I'm probably gonna go to the bathroom or something I'm not gonna let you see me crying I don't like people in my business okay it feels a lot better to just know that you have yourself under control emotionally especially because like emotions reacting with your emotions being emotional that can be dangerous in some situations so you know you really want to make sure you take care of that and um i probably didn't get across everything that i wanted to say but i think for the most part i'm on a good page so i'm going to start with meditation and prayer um this will always be number one i feel like in any how to when it comes to self-improvement I guess depending on what it is, but I'm pushing this in my ear like I got something planned. Like I feel like it's always the best way and the first step to become stronger in what it is that you're trying to achieve because you are giving, you are releasing it and giving it to that higher power that you believe in or that higher realm or that higher being or whatever the case may be. And I feel as though it sends those, you know, messages out to the universe to come back to you. You know, you're asking for that guidance and that that strength and that ability to be able to take a step towards bettering yourself in some sort of way. So that is always why I will say that is number one. Um, like I said before, I always feel better after I do it, especially a good meditation with some healing crystals, some vibrations just the way it feels and just in myself feeling like it's working through me and I'm working to become a better person because at the end of the day that's the goal that's one of the goals number two would to be allow yourself to go through your emotions sit through them let it out cry release etc now I am off for releasing crying letting it out me to be as jolly as i am to talk about this and even be able to open up about certain things that has made not has made me emotional because i'm not really going into those details but just sharing that like yeah i get emotional yeah i cry yeah i get sad yeah i get hurt it's all about how you handle it and how you back, bounce back from it allowing yourself to go through your emotions and sit through them really allows for you to be able to process why you are feeling that way i think another good way to help with to also be um to write it down and you can also use that to have to look back on and reflect and see how far you've came since you were at that stage allowing yourself to really process why it is that you felt this way how it made you felt why I made you feel that way and just allowing you to release it and to give it get it off of you you know what I mean you released it into something else that is no longer being withheld within yourself because you allowed yourself to go through it and release it I allow myself to feel my emotions I allow myself to sit and really think why I was triggered this way and I really go deep into thinking and like I'm telling you I probably can overanalyze the way I hung the leaves or the picture on the wall. Like, I overanalyze a lot. I really go deep and I like really think on the situation. I think about my actions. I think about the person's actions or whoever's involved or just, you know, whoever's involved in general. I think about, okay, now why would they do that? Okay, now why would I react like this? Or dang, I should have said that. Or dang, I really thought this or dang. Like, I really go into the whole thing and I'm like, okay. Let me do a little bit more research and then I'll still keep going further and further into it because I really want to understand like why. It's <laughs> though so depending on what it is, but it's very, very healthy to allow yourself to release that emotion from within you because when you hold it in, it just weighs you down and it's not a good feeling. You carry it with you, people can see it on you, and it's just and that's what any emotion, happiness, sadness, you know what I mean? If if it's a happy emotion, of course, like, it's no problem with you showing it and wearing it. But you know what I mean? But in this case, we're talking about the opposite parts of happiness and stuff like that. Find a way within yourself to process it into something positive. So, um, 
you know, when I get really sad or, you know, like I start down talking on myself or, you know, because as human beings, we do that. And, you know, we could, we could really, really allow ourselves to get down. And I think just like, just being able to turn that around is like, that's where it helps for you to change your thoughts and allow you to switch your thoughts around from something negative to positive. And I think I said this in my last video too. Every time you think something negative, think three things positive about yourself. I think that's what I had said. And that will apply here too. Think three things that's positive about possibly why you're going through that emotion. It was meant for me to go through this pain so that I can come out a better person and you know, learn a lesson from it and turn it into something positive. And with it being a lesson in itself, because it always is, every experience can be a lesson, a blessing. It's always to help you grow as a person, you know what I mean? If something bad happened to you or something triggers you to be emotional, you just have to learn how to apply it and to turn it into that positive thing. I wish I could give you like a real good scenario, but all the ones that I'm thinking about, I feel like it's just not gonna get across exactly what it is that I wanna say. Now, watch when I get done this video, it's gonna pop up in my head and be like, there it is, and it's like, the video's over now. The more that you are able to process a sad emotion into a happy emotion, I feel as though it also makes it easier for you to go into that state of turning a negative thought into a positive thought because you get accustomed in your mind okay i'm gonna allow myself to go through this emotion i'm gonna allow myself to understand why and you know understand what led me to get emotional to this point now as i continue to go through different emotions i know how to process it more easy more easily and now i'm able to get more in the hang of turning it into something positive you know what this happened but you know what, this was the good thing that came out of it type of thing. And I feel as though the more you do it, it's like repetition. You know, it just sets in your mind and you just automatically, when you go through a certain emotion, you know how to process it, go through it the right way, and it just gets reprogrammed to turn it into something positive. The next thing I'm gonna say is to write about it. Um, writing to help you process. So, write about it. Um, Another thing is, you know, allowing yourself to write it down while you went through it. It allows you to visualize more as opposed to just like having everything in your head and just allowing yourself to process it in your head, which is no problem. But I feel as though when you write things out and when you take your time to actually, you know, like read what you write and work through it and, you know, ask yourself maybe some questions here and there, you know, really answer it, process it and really like look back at your answers and just, you know, like learn about the kind of person you are, who you are on the inside that's coming out on this paper. And understand that it's okay to be human. It's okay to go through all kinds of emotions. I'm tired of people saying crying and being emotional is a weakness. No, it is not. It's a strength at the end of the day because anybody who is holding stuff inside of them and thinks that that is a good way for them to cope with whatever they have going on, I don't have nothing against y'all. Y'all cope the way y'all cope, but it's unhealthy for one. And for two, you're allowing it to just build up within yourself and you're eventually gonna explode. I used to do it all the time. Hold stuff in, hold stuff in, hold stuff in, and don't say nothing, and then I just, there it is. Sorry I had to tell you like that. I've gotten a lot better with how I come out with it, how I express it. I'm very, very sweet. I'm a sweetheart, I promise you. I mean no harm. I can be very misunderstood. My tones and some of the ways I may come off is not, you know, always the best that they could be, but I'm a work in progress. I'm working on myself, and I say this like almost every video. I'm working on myself. I'm not perfect. Healing is a process that we're always going to be going through. It's nothing, you're, you're never not ever going to be healing. It, it, I find that really helpful and really reflective, and sometimes you need a reflection just to see, you know, well, dang, I really came this far. You know, I really used to be this way and now I'm this way. You can also use it for motivation for yourself to push yourself to be like, you know what? Dang, I might have been feeling this way and that way. Six months ago, I might have wanted to do something extreme and now today now I can process it and I can allow myself to work through it and now I know how to handle it you know a lot better emotionally than I did before and maybe I can maybe now I'm able to talk about certain things that I wasn't able to talk about before because before I would just blow up about it you know what I mean or I know how to maturely handle this a little bit now because 
I look back on the things that I used to do and I want to be better than that. You know what I mean? Type of thing. So, um, that's going to fall into writing about it and processing it. Um, so I'm not even going to say that. It's kind of, it's basically the same thing, which is process why you felt each emotion that goes into writing about it, writing to help yourself process it, allowing yourself to go through the emotions. It's basically the same things that I had just said. It's upon uplifting spirit that allows for better emotions. Okay, I'm giving reasons. Okay, so some of this is like a little bit, I guess, uh, explanations I threw in there. I wrote on a paper, processing why you felt each emotion brings upon an uplifting spirit that allows you to feel better emotionally. Which is true because, you know, it lifts you up. Like I said, you feel more confident, like you know how to handle the situation or like you become emotionally mature in some kind of way. We're going to act like I just didn't spit right there. I feel like it also lifts a weight off of you like an emotional burden on yourself because I know like I felt that way I felt like really really heavy and I take on energy it's crazy so I always find myself having to cleanse and you know keep myself in a a good space to keep my own energy good as well and you know pure and not taking on others emotions because that can mess with me as well next i would say don't allow the emotion to take over you take over that emotion and that is very very important because like i said we you know for the people who can get very emotional or, or know what it is like to get very emotional or feel very emotional it's not easy dealing with it there are some things that can trigger people or do something to people emotionally that could just take them to a place that they cannot come back from. You have people and then their own lives. You have people who literally go crazy. You have people who go out there and are doing things to other people and like I said to themselves like there's so many things that can really take somebody off the deep end just by something that took their emotions by a storm and they didn't know how to deal with it or you know it was too much for them to deal with it because they didn't know how to deal with it or it just drove them to the point where it was just like they didn't want to deal with it because it was just too much you have to work through those emotional issues and those emotional problems because it's nothing to play with it's really nothing to play with playing with somebody emotions and having triggering somebody emotionally can really <laughs> mess them up and mess you up depending on what the situation is i definitely believe that it is important for you to make sure you take over that emotion just like you take over your mind when you're trying to think positively as well because taking over that emotion will condition your body to not let it overwhelm you and to not let it take over and you taking control lets your body your your mind know first and then your body that i'm in control of this you're not going to take over me i'm going to be stronger than this i'm going to overcome this and when you really start to practice these kind of things i really really do believe that it helps because i'm telling you i used to be in a really bad place emotionally ever since i was a kid meditate on those positive emotions meditating on those positive emotions will also allow your brain to train and also going into um finding a way to process it into something positive it conditions your brain to be able to process it easily more easily to the point where it's more natural for you to just think of a positive thought it's more natural for you to work through your emotion or it even opens up a deeper understanding for yourself and you'll be more in that vibration your your vibration will continue to be grow higher i should say not be higher but grow higher um because you can be in a really low emotion when you're experiencing a feeling kind of a certain kind of emotion so it raises your vibration it helps your vibration to be higher it keeps you in that good energy that good space and i really think that's another thing that's important do something positive or productive that is also a good way to you know get yourself out of your emotions and not think about it because your mind is focused on something else you're not sitting there thinking about you know this that and the third for instance i'm doing a video i could just be kicking back in my bed watching tv i gotta work tomorrow i could be getting some extra hours of sleep right now and this is just in general sometimes when you sit it helps you to stay in that i want to put my energy into something that's going to uplift me into something that's going to make me feel like you know what let me get up let me move around a little bit let me do a little something clean a little bit read something make a video uh take some pictures um do your hair go get your hair done get your nails done just 
play game. Find something that's gonna require you to be up and moving or just something in general that allows you to take your mind off of it. Whatever that may be for you. If you, you know you like to have a little drink, you like to smoke a little something, find something that'll help you in healthy ways, you know, like take your mind off of it. And the last thing I would say is I find that it helps me to take a deeper look into my natal chart to get a better sense of knowing. Ever since really digging into my natal chart and really learning more about myself and my personality and stuff like that and getting more deeper into my placements and stuff, it helps me to know what things might trigger me, why I might be so emotional with certain things. I'm learning myself a little more to know how to handle myself a lot better than how I've been because I haven't had the knowledge of my own self to even learn about the different things from my childhood or learn about different things from my past that allow me to understand my emotional triggers a little more and to understand why I could be so emotional in certain areas and you know the things that really line up in my life and really click with me really learning my natal chart and really getting into learning myself is very very helpful um and it also has been helping me to learn how to do things a little bit differently and what works for me as a person depending on you know based off of what's going on in my chart and a lot of people don't believe in it i guess i do i started getting into like um the signs and stuff maybe like high school or early out of high school but I never really looked into it to know what it meant. I just always knew, oh, okay, this is my sign. And that's just what I always knew. I never really thought about going deeper into it. Years after that is when I started getting into the, you know, spirituality and stuff like that. So this isn't something that I have always, you know, been into. It's stuff that I have been getting into and learning about more as I learn about myself. The more I learn, the more I just evolve as a person. And I love it, honestly. Like... Healing is never easy. There are days that are hard, but it's definitely worth it. And I don't know, I've honestly felt better by myself than I have ever felt. And it's not a lot of times where I have allowed myself to be by myself. I was always with another person. So, and that's just me, cause I'm just lovey-dovey, bubbly thing until you piss me off. And then I think it's absolutely necessary to grow as a person and to become more happier and feel more fulfilled within yourself, I would say. Um, it does wonders. These are all of my tips for how to become emotionally stronger. Out of it really goes into, you know, meditation and allowing yourself to process and go through your emotions. This is like, it's useful. For me it is. Um, I'm about to meditate right now after I get off this video for a couple minutes. Or maybe I should just wait till I get back. Cause I gotta make a run somewhere. Then I gotta come back. I got time. I think I'm gonna, cause I, I did meditate early this morning for uh, two, 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 two. February 22nd, 2022. I did my meditation for that this morning. On my break at work cause I go to work early in the morning. So anybody that's going through anything emotional, you know what I mean? Remember that your mental health comes first and you should always make sure that you take a step back and really look at yourself and see how yourself is doing, evaluate yourself and you know, just look in the different areas where you can grow as a person or where you can get better here or get better there. Because at the end of the day, we're here to evolve. That's one of the reasons why we're here. It's really a beautiful thing where you can overcome certain things within yourself and really see your growth and just know that you're not that same person or you don't do those same things or just to, you know, just to look back in general. The person that I am right now and today, like, I'm so, so proud of. Like, I'm so grateful to have started learning about these different things and really getting into, you know, more reading again because i used to read a lot when i was younger but i don't have any of those books anymore um back into reading and back into writing and really getting back into myself and putting out content that i feel as though will help other people in different areas where i feel like i am improving or um that i feel like i may have needed help with that i didn't have and i just seeked it for myself and you know, wanted to grow as a person, didn't want to feel certain ways that I was feeling. I've always been 
like into learning a whole bunch of different things so i mean i'm grateful i'm very grateful for that um that's allowed me to open up and explore more things that i like even more and apply it to my life to become a better person and to help my life become better in general that is it that's all i have for this video if i have anything else to add maybe i'll make a part two so i hope this video helps you as these tips has helped me and is continuing to help me grow as a person and become better emotionally Don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to this video to this video and to this channel and i'll catch you in the next video